Hi, I'm Rosemary Medrano, and I'll be presenting on my project, Assembling the Avengers, Transmedia Narrative, and the Mapping of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So in this Digital Humanities project, I track the character of Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man, uh, through the events of the Infinity Saga, or the narrative arc that starts with Iron Man in 2008 and ends with Avengers Endgame in 2019. Uh, so I looked at the events he was involved in, the people he interacted with, and then the events and people that were affected in turn. Um, I also looked at where these events took place, who was at each one, and whether they were fictional, people or places, or real. So my purpose was to use this source material to visualize larger trends in contemporary media culture, such as convergence culture and transmedia. So before I talk about the specifics of my projects, I want to talk a little bit more about these concepts, uh, introduce them uh, and the trends behind them, and then uh, define a few key terms as well. So the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU as I'll be calling it, is a transmedia franchise, meaning that the characters and stories are spread out through different forms of media. So there's the movies that I'll be talking about mostly today. Uh, there are television shows, there are comics, and now there are even theme park rides. Uh, and that's what part of Henry Jenkins talks about uh, in his book, Convergence Culture, where old and new media collide. His work is what guided most of my project. Um, and he brings up a few more uh, ideas that I'll be talking about more and I'll define for you here. So one is collective intelligence. Basically it means that no one person can know everything. So each fan brings their knowledge or expertise to the whole. With a franchise like the MCU, uh, which is uh, based in comic books with a lot of different characters and a whole lot of different timelines, uh, it's almost impossible to be aware of every single detail. So, you know, each person catches something while they're watching and re-watching the movies and then they share it online um, with other fans and um, you know they, they see easter eggs um, they notice the, these allusions to the comics or to other movies and uh, they make theories about what's going to happen in the future and so there are um, online communities like the Marvel Cinematic Universe fandom wiki, which is where I got a lot of, of my information from for the project. There's also countless fan theory videos on YouTube, uh, blogs, articles. Uh, there's so many different ways that uh, people are sharing this information. So the sharing of knowledge is also part of this relatively new um, concept of participatory culture, where the audience is active in this new media environment. Uh, so me doing this project is actually an example of it, uh, because, um, you know, I'm kind of adding um, to this knowledge base, I'm, I'm like taking other people's information and, uh, and interpreting it and putting my own spin to it and then sharing it out. So other people write fan fiction, they make um, all kinds of videos, uh, you know, the, the fan theory videos, music videos, what have you, uh, or they create other products, um, you know, however they want to interact with the content. So basically, I wanted to demonstrate how, yes, transmedia is a business decision, but, um, you know, it, it, it gets people to consume more of the product that the studio is putting out. Um, so, um, you know, whether it's the movies, the TV shows, comics, you know, people are spending on these products because they want to get this full immersive story. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's almost expected that the worlds of the media that we're watching um, are rich and detailed and you know, spread out so we can, we can get more and more of it. So we as fans want to participate and be a part of the story. And it's the details and the inclusion of real world, world places uh, that, uh, and people that makes us a part of the experience. So, um, you know, the Marvel movies handled the storylines a lot uh, differently than the comic books. In the comic books, you know, like I mentioned, there's all these different kinds of timelines. So they, you know, don't really have to be consistent. They're not really consistent. Um, so whenever there's like a, a discrepancy in, in facts, they just kind of invent a new story to cover it up uh, or a new timeline. So the MCU and a lot of other franchises 
they're actually keeping track of everything that's going on so they can stay accurate. Um, so I have a story map here on my website, uh, just towards the bottom here. And this was made by me on StoryMap.js, which is a tool developed by the Night Lab at Northwestern University. Um, it's, um, I, it's all about this, this event that I was talking about before, the Avengers, the, the Battle of New York or the incident in New York. So it takes place in the movie, The Avengers, and again in Avengers Endgame. And then as mentioned in Jessica Jones, Spider-Man Homecoming, Luke Cage, and other parts of the MCU. So as you go between the pages of this um, story map, which we'll go to here, it takes you to the coordinates of where each of the characters were and uh, what they were doing at the time and at the place. So um, yeah, a challenge of this project was that there were a lot of locations that were fictional uh, or were not actually filmed on location in New York. Um, so you know, I had to use um, a little creativity, but also some other sources uh, that I found a site that um, had filming locations uh, for the actual New York City places. A lot of it was digital, digitally uh, entered. Um, you know, they, they filmed on the green screen and then they put in the background afterwards. Um, so you can see here, this slide shows where the timelines converge. Um, and uh, the characters from the 2012 Avengers and the time travelers from 2023 are present. Uh, this aligns with a couple of uh, Jenkins's co concepts. Um, you can see the narrative doesn't fit into just one movie. Uh, there's like this depth of, uh, of experience that he writes about in convergence culture that motivates fans to consume more. The second part of this project is back on my website. Here I looked at Iron Man's story arc. Um, so as part of my blog, I talk about the different connections I've been making to the topic. So this particular entry um, is about ancient Greek drama. And um, so I see Tony Stark as the agent of action. Um, and that's what has um, guided a lot of my decisions on what to include and what to look at for the project. So yeah, um, in Aristotle's Poetics, he uh, talks about this agent of action. So this is uh, more than just the protagonist. This is the person that is making relationships with other characters um, and driving the actions of the play or movie. So in the MCU, that is Tony Stark. Um, his was the first film uh, of the MCU, and he's the one that's actively supporting the Avengers, uh, bringing them together, financially supporting them, um, uh, contributing a lot of the science uh, and technology that they're using. So his actions in trying to protect the world also bring about some of the issues that the team has to overcome in later films. Um, you can also connect his story arc to the um, tragic hero uh, in ancient Greek drama, uh, especially Greek tragedy. So I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys, but um, you, know, you can read uh, a little about that to see the connections between that tragic hero and Tony Stark. There's a lot of similarities there. So it's like, uh, what Henry Jenkins was talking about, you know, you got old media, you got new media, and um, there's a, a lot of connections that can be made there. So further down on my site, there's this section on methodology, and this kind of lays out um, how I put this together. So first was the Sparkle query on Wikidata. And I was looking at things like the character's name, date of birth, uh, who were they killed by? Who were they related to? Um, are they, uh, so instance of is like, um, are they uh, artificial intelligence? Are they a mutant? Um, who made them? Uh, what, where do they work? Uh, what are they a member of? If they're in the military, what's their military branch and their rank? And so um, this organized all of that data into CSV sheets. Um, I also used Palladio, which is a visualizing tool from Stanford. 
And so I shared that information in this section and it's organized by movie uh, throughout Iron Man's story arc. Um, so we'll start here with Iron Man. And so this tool allows you to map out coordinates, uh, compare two different um, topics that are in your, in your spreadsheet, um, and then see them visualized and mapped out. Um, so I talk a little bit about um, how and why I got this data. You know, there's some decisions that I had to make since a lot of the locations were fictional um, or were not actually filmed on location. For example, um, figure six here shows a map of Afghanistan where um, a lot of the movie took place in, uh, but it took place in fictional uh, top secret settings. So they're not actually there, but um, just based on the story um, and the setting, which was actually filmed in Pakistan. Uh, so I estimated where the points were on the map just so I can see them. Um, but um, you know, I've been kind of second guessing that decision and maybe in the future, um, I won't include that, that data that I invented. So it might be more beneficial to see um, just what is most accurate, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, get to that in, you know, in the later forms of this uh, present or of this project. Um, the other things I made up here were these different mappings. Um, so I found that there were a lot of ties between um, Iron Man, Tony Stark, and the military, especially in this movie. Um, and there's, there's a lot of criticism to be made about uh, superhero movies and their ties to the military industrial complex. And so that's something that can also be explored with this data. And I actually made it available for download up here if anybody else wants to uh, use this for their own projects. So um, yeah, for mine right now, um, you know, these are, these are things that I'm noticing, um, but I haven't acted on them yet. So yeah, maybe that's something I'll do, but maybe that's something somebody else will do, but that's there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. Um, I hope you'll visit my site, mappingthemcu.wordpress.com. I do plan on continuing this project. Um, so I hope you'll uh, keep reading my blog entries. Uh, they'll be about all kinds of different things that I'm learning um, about this information. I'm making ties to uh, other, other disciplines, um, other, uh, other movies, other franchises. Um, and then, you know, I'll, I'll be continuing to add on to these sections as well um, as I, you know, finish up this project and um, maybe start something new.